So it's really great to have the chance today to talk to Dr. Lamo, a health professional from IPAS on International Women's Day. It's really great to be here today with uh, Development Director Lisa Honan from the British Embassy today. Happy International Women's Day. Uh, we haven't really had a chance to catch up uh, until now, so what kind of career have you had as a development worker? Yeah, so really many and varied, I would describe it as. I started at the very, very bottom of my organisation and worked my way up to Development Director and now find myself obviously as Development Director in Kathmandu, really, really enjoying the role. Before that, I was the Governor of St Helena, Ascension and Tristan de Kuna. So health is such a challenging sector, I would say. What, what attracted you to it? Well, actually, it's a very interesting question because uh, my parents have never been to school. So to consider um, a health professional was something out of the blue. So it so happened that my mother used to work, uh, was born in Jury, and at that time there was a Swiss doctor who used to uh, go uh, do household visits of Jiril indigenous community looking after their health. So she was very inspired and she used to talk quite often. So I think that was what inspired me to become a health professional. What kind of opportunities have you enjoyed as a woman leader and what are the, the opportunities and challenges? Yeah, so if I think about the person who came out of school, I didn't really think I'd have that many opportunities at all. I didn't do very well at school and I haven't got many qualifications. But now if I look back, the opportunities have uh, been to travel around the world, to do really, really interesting work. You know, the challenges of being a woman in that world have been uh, significant, but my philosophy has always been I'm a development worker who happens to be a woman. Yeah. And so if I see a challenge, I like that. So what do you see has have been the opportunities and challenges in your career? Yeah. The opportunities for me is that I get to interact with women and girls uh, from the grassroots to the politicians to the decision makers. So this has been an opportunity because I am both a woman and an indigenous woman. So there are two challenges for me. So I get to understand what kind of challenges did these women and girls face and what intersect, intersects with uh, gender in our context. So that has been both an opportunity and a challenge. All the politicians, decision makers, um, the country directors, all the um, working in international ideas, they are all men working mm. on women's health. Mm. They are making decisions for us. And for me to step out of that um, area and to challenge them and say that this is not what women and girls want, this is different from what you think, that is a challenge. Funny, isn't it? Because I kind of see parallels with myself. So do you think that women's leadership is actually different to that from men's leadership? Yes, I think uh, men and women act differently because men are more uh, sort of structural, they are more mechanical, they depend more on the numbers rather than the underlying causes, for example, whether it's family planning or maternal health or mortality, they just look at the numbers, whereas women are more compassionate and they try to get to the bottom of the problem. Yeah, so um, Lisa, what is, the, what is your vision for an equal future? But for me, it would be that um, the women and girls that come after me uh, have the opportunities that I had to push so hard for. So I've always been a really strong proponent of women and girls' issues. And if my team say, will you go and speak at this event and it's about women and girls, it's an absolute yes. Yeah. 